Hi, in last video we saw about the bottom navigation, so how to navigate the bottom, how to add the items, how to customize the bottom navigation and uh, change over of the classes which is okay. So in this video we are going to see the swipe action for the bottom navigation, how to swipe left and right and how to change based on that okay. So for that we need to implement one dependency, uh, two dependencies in our application okay. So in this application phase we have to add two dependencies that is for pagination paging okay so let's add to the money so this is called google com dot google dot this pager and pager indicator so pager indicator is optional but if we want to that indicator then thing means we can add it so pager is necessary so let's sync this one and once it is sync let me show you how we can implement how we are going to implement that one here okay and the dependency is uh, imported so let's start at creating uh, working on the items so we have to add two things to remember states one is for uh, scope okay well this is what the remember r u m e okay we are remember okay coroutine where is that code what is happening Okay, I'll just cancel this preview. I don't want to show the preview only code is enough. Okay, I will run and show you. Okay, so this is uh, coroutine scope I'm adding. So once the coroutine scope is added, let me show you. Then we have to add page state. Page state is equal to remember page state. Okay. Added, right? Okay, it's an experimental API, so we have to add. So mostly most of the APIs are experimental in this one. Okay, so scope and this one. So once we added those things, so we have to come out here. So we have to add uh, the pagination over here. So pagination is kind of two things: vertical pagination and horizontal pagination. So we have to use horizontal pager. Okay. So if they give auto import, means it is quite great. So horizontal pager we are going to import inside the pager we have to add count okay count is items dot size the same count then um, state okay state is page state and modifier modifier dot padding dot this padding value if it is this is okay so we don't want to give modifier actually it is fine uh, if it is okay it is good but what is that if you okay we have to open and close the bracket so here we can take the page index is this that that is the index of the page okay so there is the index of the item so what we are doing here the same thing we have to do it we have we have to change the navigation to inside so previously we do with strings right so this time we are going to do with page so we have to add page instead of this strings we are going to change it to 0 1 2 3 okay so here we are going to change it to 1 2 3 based on the index we are going to do so where we will get this index so which means the current state we are doing here right so instead of this we have to change the page state over here for this we have to add uh, the page dot uh, index we need to pass it over here right page state dot current page okay current page we are going to pass means the uh, something we need to change so here instead of string in the bottom bar we have to add int we are we are going to change the parameters to int so here also int okay so if both things are int means where is it here it is current index dot index so instead of this for each we are going to add for each with indexes okay for each with indexes means we can take index okay we can take index okay so here instead of this current screen we are going to uh, sorry current instead of this item root we are going to use current screen is equal to index okay so return also we are going to send the index here also same we are going to choose the index so uh, just check the video again you can understand mostly uh, quickly okay once we are done this one we can go back 
and we have to change this one to page state sorry, page state dot so in this one the page state this should be okay let, uh, let me show you animate scroll page to that particular position the position is where is it this it okay position it is but we have to start do this one in a scope okay so for that only we, I, we added the scope dot launch this one okay so now it should work so when i am now i will run and let show you how the sliding and paging is working okay let me run and see application runs so before we click now we can swipe one two three okay so we can swipe and we can do it i think i get that okay this is nice right so the swipe uh, in a bottom navigation we have to import implement like this the navigations and the page name nav what is that uh, page navigation will be changed like this so uh, now we can import the in the scaffold instead of bottom navigation we can do the same thing in top bar also okay so top bar so i am just removing this from here to I'm adding it over on the top bar and we don't need bottom bar also. I'm just commanding the bottom bar. Then now I am running again. Okay. Running again. So what this is like tab bar. We can whatever we are did in it's a bottom navigation in our old Android with XML. So this is like bottom means top tab bar with the scrolling thing. So we can do the same thing for horizontal uh, pager with the page in indicator with that dot dots or uh, any slider item so th those things are we'll see in some other videos okay if you want let me know uh, i'll show you so for this i'll just uh, i'm just running we can see the part top bar now. yeah our application runs so you can see it here the same bottom navigation it came to an up as a bottom bar top bar so you can change the styles right so here the styles will be different so the navigation item bar is a compose instead of navigation item bar we can use our custom bar navigation item bar and we can export this parameter when selecting means it will work as as expected like that only okay so it's not a problem you have to work directly like this you can create your own compose it doesn't matter which one and which you want to do so whenever we what the thing is the parameter which you are expecting exporting from here and we are reusing here that is important so otherwise you can use any custom layouts to change over selected and selected this or that like that like that you can do a mini customization in the jetpack compose okay so uh, we'll see more about this cat for in a future videos okay thank you